This project is called the Erasmus project uh, and it's about the working future or how the future will look like. Like how it will evolve and how the jobs will change. I'm Alicia, I'm 17 years old and I'm from Germany. I'm Nele, I'm 17 years old and I'm from Germany. My name is Caroline. My name is Valentine. My name is Eude. Mathilde. Sarah. And I'm from France. I'm from France. From Norway. And I'm from Norway. My name is Paul and I'm from Norway. I'm Mathilde Poudiquin and I'm uh, coming from France. We experienced uh, a lot of uh, nice things regarding work, both uh, in the past and in the future. We watched and joined the students when they were working in workshops. Do you want to tell us what we're doing today? So, first, I think we are going to Brandenburger Tor. And then we are going to a museum. I think it's called Futurio. At the beginning, it was like really surprising because like I thought, wow, it's so different from France. Like we have different uh, um, way of working in school. We have different way of eating, different way of having fun so it was like surprising but I really like to discover new things about different person. We um, talk about a um, lot of subjects like um, the, uh, the artificial intelligence um, will be present in the future work like um, we will probably work with a lot of machines, robots, um, um, we also um, ask a um, lot of questions like um, if we, uh, if human have this, have this place in the future, like uh, can we be replaced by ro robots or something like that? Of course, we observe uh, kind of differences among them on the way they uh, listen the question, understand the question, and make the work together. Also, on the way they um, they are able to speak in front of the class. I think it's it's a great experience for them because they see uh, other ways. To to, to manage the class and the workshops. So one day we could um, search on a website how our jobs get automated in the future and that was kind of interesting for me because um, there were jobs who can't get automated at all, for example a football player because it's like without any technical stuff in the future, but there were also other jobs who get automated for like 75% and to see the differences in which kind of jobs there will be more robots or more digital stuff in the future was interesting to see. And I think it's really interesting because I'm, um, yeah, on one day I'm very exciting to saw uh, tomorrow's world because I think it's very uh, impressive that uh, there is so many things, so many technologies um, advanced and so many technologies project, but there is also a part of me who are very scared. Uh, yes, I do, or I do have some fears too. It's kind of scary with the climate change and stuff, how like how the future is going to look like, like we have no clue what it's actually going to look like. Um, so it's kind of scary, especially yeah, with the climate change. Um, but I also am excited and like feel prepared because I want to like see what it's going to be like and how it's going to be for us to work like in the future and stuff. Yeah, I'm prepared, I think. I'm like, I'm more excited. I don't have that many fears because I'm more excited how the, the future will look like and how the, how the working market will be. And I think it's very exciting. I'm very excited to like see how the future 
it's going to be when I grow up. And But I also have some fears, for example, um, that many jobs will disappear and the population in our world is getting, getting higher and higher. So it's, it's a little bit weird to think of and also the environment. So I'm excited, but also I have some fears as well. After that week, yeah, definitely, I'm more prepared than I was. <laughs>